Hello everybody, it's Lucia. I haven't made a video for a long time. I've been busy with the holidays and trying to get caught up on things. So, I have a little haul video. Well, it's not really little. It might be a little big because it's a couple of hauls that I'm going to put all into one video. So, um, over the holidays, my husband and two other couples, every year we go to Portland, which is in Northern Oregon, and we go, the girls go to Fabric Depot, and then the guys usually drop us off at Fabric Depot, and then they take off and go to the Harley store and do their thing. So when we're done, hours later, because <laughs> the Fabric Depot is huge, and they have so much fabric and art supplies, I mean, it's just, you just want to touch and look at everything and feel it, so we spend a lot of time in there. So this year we went, and I got a couple of things. So let's start with the fabric. I got this fabric. I love dress forms, so I'm going to probably make a quilt out of this, because I really, really like this fabric. And then... They had a huge sale, too. There was, like, everything in the store was, like, I believe it was 20% off. Um, and then you could find other sales also. This is another fabric that I got, and this is the inside. Oh, they folded it the wrong way. Darn it. Anyway, if you could see, it's, um, like, 40s ladies with hats on. So I really like that fabric, and I want to make just a regular block quilt, so I'll probably make just blocks of these, and then I needed a fabric to go with it. So um, I looked around and looked around. I didn't really find anything I liked. This fabric was 60% off when I got up to the register. It is so beautiful, and it was on clearance. So anyway, this is a fabric I picked to go with it. It's a gray with a, it's a map. So I thought, you know, it's that timeless travel kind of thing, so I thought those two would go together. So hopefully, you know, I can do a little show and tell of the finished quilt or maybe, I don't know, a tutorial on when I'm doing it. I don't know. We'll see. That's what I always say. We'll see because I never know how long it's going to take me to get to this project. But you know, when fabric is available, you just want to buy it. You know. You guys out there who so know how that goes. So those are the fabrics I bought. Oh, and then I bought this little, um, little, it's like a little scrap bag. And it's um, got Moda fabric in it. So it's just um, strips of different fabrics. Usually I just do a strip quilt with these. We have some really pretty things in here. I just sew them together. And then, and at the end, you gotta. It's like a jelly roll race with scraps of fabric. Okay, so that is the end of the fabric. And then I went over to the arts section. And I got these two um, stencils. And really, what they're for is for quilting. When you quilt your quilt, um, it shows you where to start and how to go around, and you can quilt patterns into your quilt when you're done with them. So I got these because I really want to try that. I've been, you know, trying to do some quilting and just kind of experimenting. I mean, I'm not great at it, but I'm just starting to learn. But I thought these would be very helpful. And so then I thought if it doesn't work out and I decide not to do it, I could always use it as a stencil for art also. So I got those two. I got some watercolor pencils, so I want to give those a try. I got this uh, add a quarter inch, so if you want to add on a quarter inch to whatever you're cutting, this is a good ruler for that. I got this other ruler because I needed another longer straight ruler to cut my fabric because my other one has just about had it. My other one is kind of, um, it's not this hard plastic. It's more of foamy plastic and so I've cut into it and it's kind of jagged on the side so it doesn't work too well anymore so I got that. And then I got these blocks for my stamps because I didn't have any. 
and it just it's so much easier to line them up and it, actually this wasn't well, it was fourteen dollars for these that's not too bad I guess but um, I needed them so I got them and then I got this book it's all in one quilters reference tool and I tell you why I got this because in the back it has um, a bunch of different blocks and it tells you what size to make the squares for each block. So if you want a 4 inch block all the way up to a 12 inch block. So that's very helpful because it's just a pain to sometimes figure it out especially when you're working with a lot of little blocks. So yeah I thought that was great. And then I showed it to my friends and they're like oh we want one, we want one and then when they went back and I had picked up the last one so good thing I did that. And then I got a bunch of freebie patterns. I thought that was cute. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of cute little things in here. And yeah, I do crochet. I haven't crocheted in a long time, but I do crochet. My mom was a crocheter. She crocheted everything. She used to make us ponchos. Okay, so that is Fabric Depot. So after we were done at Fabric Depot, we, well, funny story. When we were getting ready to go to Portland, um, my husband was asked by his buddies to come over at New Year's. They have this big poker game. And they usually have it on a different day than the day we go to Portland to Fabric Depot. Because we live in Southern Oregon. And so he... <laughs> He was, the guys were talking to him at work saying, hey, our poker game's been changed. We're going to have it this day. And, um, you know, if you can make it, it's going to be at so-and-so's house. And so anyway, he just said, oh, I can. I'm going to Fabric Deco Depot with my, my, sorry, I can't even speak. <laughs> I'm going to Fabric Depot with my wife and some friends that day. And of course, you know, they just harassed him like, what did you say? Did you say you're going to Fabric Depot? And he goes, well, let me rephrase that. We're taking our wives to Fabric Depot. <laughs> and then one of the guys at work said, well, okay, I'm glad you explained because you were about ready to lose your man card, whatever that means. But anyway, it was, it was kind of funny. So we get up there and they drop us off and then they usually go, like last year they went to the Harley store and they looked around and, and, uh, so this time, when they took us up there, they they dropped us off, and we were there for, we got dropped off about 10 o'clock, and then they came back and got us around 2.30, 3 o'clock. So we were there at least four and a half hours, so that's a, quite a long time. So they had gone to the Harley store, and they had um, bought, some, I think one of them bought some gloves, one bought a jacket, my husband bought a um, battery uh, charger for our motorcycles, and so then they decided to go to an arcade. So we were still at the fabric store, and we're waiting, you know, we're, we're done, and we're, we're trying to get a hold of them, and we can, and so my friend Laura calls her husband, and there's no answer, and usually he's the one answering, because he's the one driving. And then uh, my friend Clarice tried to call her husband, no answer. I tried calling my husband, no answer. So then I texted my husband, and then he called me back, and he said, Oh, Mason couldn't call, couldn't call Laura, or couldn't answer Laura's phone call, because he was in the middle of a, a game of Pac-Man. And so we were just laughing about that, because it was just so funny, because he, he couldn't, you know, answer the phone, because he was playing Pac-Man. So the guys had gone to an arcade and just had fun. So, whatever, you know, it keeps them occupied where we're, while we're having fun. <laughs> so, and then um, after that, we decided to stay the night um, in Albany, which in Albany, is, there's a lot of outlet stores there. So, we decided the next morning, it was a whole weekend trip. We just went up there, spent the night, and um, just kind of shopped. So, we decided to go to the outlet stores. So, we went to the outlet stores, and I went to some clothing stores, and of course, I bought some sweaters and things like that but we went to the kitchen store and um, it was so funny because we bought these onion keepers and all three of us bought these it was just the funniest thing because we went to one kitchen store 
and my friend had gotten the last one. And we're like, oh, where'd you get that? She goes, oh, I got the last one. And so we didn't get it. So then we just kind of looked around, and I got I, I got some Roadkill Grill. I got this for my son because he really likes to barbecue all the time, and so this was just funny, and I thought I'd get it. And then I got some little baking pans, miniatures, because I like to bake, and when I bake, I like to share so I don't keep it and eat it. <laughs> and then I got some, <laughs> some cookie cutters, a butterfly and a flower, and I thought, you know, these don't have to be cookie cutters. These can be something else. I can do something else with these. Um, so, yeah, I got those. But anyway, the story of the Onion Keeper is after we got done at the kitchen store, we went over to um, the Corningware store there, and we were looking around there. And then they had a whole box of these, and our friend who had gotten the last one at the last store had a yellow one. They had this purple one, and he had uh, the yellow ones also, but they had bell pepper keepers. They had, um, oh, they had a couple of other things. But um, anyway, so this was funny, and so we all get out to the truck after we're done, and we're, we're like telling our husbands, look what we got. This is the find of the day, an onion keeper, and they're just like rolling their eyes like we're crazy. But anyway, it was fun. So that's from the kitchen store. So then uh, we went to Cabela's and, um, of course, in Eugene, which we're, you know, we're headed home now, so we're stopping on the way. And so we stopped in Eugene and went to Cabela's. And um, I bought uh, just an Under Armour shirt that has duck colors on it. Go Ducks. And that was it. So then, um, of course, we come home after our trip, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, we just have a blast when we go, and we've done it two years in a row, so we're hoping to keep that tradition going. So yesterday, or not yesterday, but um, when I got home, I took a trip to Medford, and we, we don't have um, a Tuesday morning, but I go over there to Tuesday morning when I can. So... Um, I got a couple of things, so I got some things from, well, I got a lot of things from Tuesday morning. <laughs> I got these, um, these, I don't know what they are, they're, oh great, I don't even have my, it looks like they're for clay, but you can stamp clay, uh, stamp clay with them to make molds, and these are birds. And uh, I got the birds. I got some flowers. I don't know if you can see those. Let's see if I can open them. I mean, I've been so busy, I haven't had time to even play with anything that I've bought. And Okay, so yeah, these are the flowers. So you basically, I guess, punch the clay, push it, and then you can do something. But what I thought I would do was make um, molds out of these and maybe also try to use them for stamps. So I got the flowers, the birds, and leaves. These are leaves. See, they're not as hard as I thought. I didn't have to pull out the scissors and rip that one apart. So there's different sized leaves, a big leaf. But I thought if I stuck some silicone stuff down in there, I could make a mold. So that's what I'm going to do with those. Let's see, let's see what the bird one looks like since we're digging into them. See, things like this, I keep them because you can make tags out of them. I don't know. I just like to recycle. I just hate to throw things away. And these are good for things also. So anyway, here's the birds. They, they got three different sizes, a medium, a small, and a large in each one. So I got those. We'll see. I'll, I'll do a video if I do a mold on those just to see how they turn out. I'm thinking it'll work. But then again, you know... Not everything works out. And then I got these beads. 
because I just, you know, for embellishments, they were only $2.99, and you get a ton in there. I mean, there's all kinds of pretty ones in here. So this would be great for dangles off a journal or, you know, a box if you make like a keepsake box or something. Oh, this one has little ones in there too also. But yeah, they got some interesting beads in here. So I thought those were cool. And today is my day to clean my craft room because I have no room to do anything. I mean, I to make this video, I had to clean off my desk because it was just horrible. But I'm getting there. It's still messy. Oh my gosh, you would be probably horrified. It looks like I am totally a craft hoarder. And I wanted an edge punch because I don't have an edge punch, so I got this one. Just can't wait. You gotta just rip it to pit shreds. Okay, so let's try this. Hmm. Well, that's pretty. I don't know about this down here. Maybe I did it wrong. Let's get a different piece of paper. Let's see. I got some paper over here ready to do a. Oh yeah, that is very pretty. So I got that. We'll see how that works out. Oh, you get all kinds of little negatives also. Those are... I like those. I can use those. Okay. I can put those on the project and then start here in a little bit. Okay. And I got a little alphabet stamp. It was only $2.99. Little chevron burlap. They're sticky, so you can stick them on things. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I just have to cool. And then also... Um, Heidi Swap Trimmings. Thought I'd do something with those. And then they had stencils for $1.99. So I got their Mr. Huey's masks. So the chevron. Little circles, or I don't know what you call those. Arrows and circles. So I got those. I thought those were very... I thought that was a great deal. And then um, they had uh, studio paints. Dimensional pearls. $1.49 for this. And this is red pepper. And then this is just glossy acrylic paint. So I got yellow. 
sable bronze, a little thing of gesso, and charcoal black. I got those also. And then, of course, paper. Who doesn't love paper? Right, Shannon Green? I know, you love paper. <laughs> Everybody loves paper. This was a Christmas pack. And you know, it's funny because I couldn't find any Christmas paper when I was doing my December daily. And then I go there and I find this pack. So I just grabbed it up because, you know, I could use it for next year's December daily, which I'm still working on. Um, my printer went down, so I couldn't print any pictures, and I bought a new printer, and I don't know, but I don't think this printer is made for pictures, even though the lady at Staples says, yes, it was. It, it prints out good pictures. I can't get it to print out right. If I take the sheet of uh, picture paper, put it in there, it'll print the picture, but it doesn't give you any formatting where you can pick how many pictures you want on it. And so it comes out with the picture printed like right in the middle of the paper. Um, so you have to like cut it out and just you just ruin all the, uh, you're just wasting all this paper. So I don't want to do that. So I got to figure it out. I don't know. It just kind of made me mad. So I just kind of been staying away from it. And then I got this paper pack also, which is very pretty. And it's double sided. I love this one. There's a lot in here. It's like four sheets of each. That is so gorgeous. So, yeah. So those are my hauls. I hope everybody is having a wonderful 2015 so far. I know I am. Um, 2014 wasn't too bad either, but you know what? It's, it's, it's all what you make it. So um, I got a couple of projects coming up. I'm going to do the ticket swap in Crazy Island Family. And then I'm going to give uh, Shannon Green's... Uh, Oh gosh, what does she call it? It's um, five prompts, ten pages, something like that. Anyway, you get you set your timer for 15 minutes and you do each prompt. Um, and you come out with 20 finished pages in the end. Anyway, I'm going to give that a shot. And I've been pulling stuff out as I'm cleaning that I want to use for that because the, some of the prompts are like, um, you know, collage something, put paint on something, uh, use markers, I guess. I, I don't know. I'd have to, I'm going to do a video on it. But anyway, um, yeah, head over to Shannon Green's channel and check that out. It's pretty cool. And then, you know, Crazy Island Family does a lot of um, swaps and they're awesome over there. So if you want to join a swap, head on over there. I'll try to put the links down below and everybody have an awesome day, night, wherever you are. Bye.